Oliver Reed's life and career were as tumultuous and captivating as the characters he played. And it was not just his acting prowess that made Reed a legend, but also his penchant for wild behaviors and crazy stories that captured the imagination of fans and the media. Renowned for his hard-drinking lifestyle, bar brawls, and outrageous escapades, his off-screen antics were often as entertaining as his characters on screen. Today, we'll take a look at some of the wild anecdotes of his life and other interesting facts about this legendary actor. Join Facts First as we present It's No Secret Why Oliver Reed's Co-Stars Hated Him. Up and Down Married Life Oliver Reed's personal life, including his marriages, were colorful and tumultuous. He was married twice and each had its own dynamics and challenges. His first marriage was to actress Kate Byrne in 1959. The couple had one child together, a son Mark, before divorcing in 1969. Their marriage was marked by Reed's burgeoning career and reputation as a hard-drinking and unpredictable personality. This put a strain on their relationship. His second marriage was to Josephine Burge, whom he wed in 1985. They remained together until Reed's death in 1999. Despite lasting over a decade, the marriage had its difficulties, as Reed's continued struggles with alcoholism and his volatile temperament created tension within the relationship. Pub Crawl with Steve McQueen One legendary night in the history of celebrity revelry involved Oliver and Steve McQueen embarking on a raucous pub crawl. Reed, known for his wild antics, and McQueen, a fellow Hollywood icon with a reputation for living on the edge, made for an explosive duo. The night began innocently enough with a few drinks at a local pub, but quickly escalated into an epic binge that became the stuff of legend. As the evening wore on, they bar-hopped through the streets of London, leaving a trail of chaos and laughter in their wake. They indulged in copious amounts of alcohol, engaging in drinking contests and regaling fellow patrons with their larger-than-life tales. Their escapades became increasingly audacious as the night progressed, with the pair reportedly even commandeering a double-decker bus at one point, much to the shock and delight of onlookers. Despite their fame and fortune on that memorable night, they were just two kindred spirits seeking adventure and camaraderie in the heart of the city. Their pub crawl stands as a testament to the timeless allure of friendship, laughter, and the thrill of the unexpected. Vomiting on a waiter Oliver Reed's reputation for wild behavior often preceded him, and one infamous incident involved him vomiting on a waiter during a night of heavy drinking. The exact details of the incident vary depending on the source, but the general story goes something like this. Reed, known for his love of alcohol and penchant for excess, was enjoying a night out at a posh restaurant or upscale establishment. As the drinks flowed freely and Reed's consumption reached staggering levels, his inhibitions vanished. At this point, his behavior became increasingly unpredictable. In a moment of unfortunate timing, a hapless waiter happened to approach Reed's table at precisely the wrong moment. Whether due to a sudden bout of nausea or simply a lack of control over his faculties, Reed regrettably emptied the contents of his stomach onto the unsuspecting waiter, much to the horror and disgust of everybody present. This incident, while undoubtedly embarrassing for all involved, only added to Reed's legend as a larger-than-life figure whose exploits both on and off-screen knew no bounds. Keith Moon's Friendship Oliver Reed's friendship with Keith Moon, legendary drummer of The Who, was one of camaraderie, excess, and shared love for the rock and roll lifestyle. Both men were notorious for their larger-than-life personalities, wild antics, and unapologetic embrace of hedonism. Their friendship blossomed in the vibrant atmosphere of London's swinging 60s and 70s, where they found themselves at the epicenter of the city's bohemian culture. Reed and Moon bonded over their mutual love of music, alcohol, and living life to the fullest. They were often spotted together at the hottest clubs and parties where they would command attention with their magnetic presence and outrageous behavior. Their escapades became the stuff of legend, with tales of all-night binges, impromptu performances, and wild parties that pushed the boundaries of decency and decorum. Despite their reputation for excess, Reed and Moon shared a genuine affection for each other, forged through their shared experiences and adventures. They were kindred spirits in many ways, both drawn to the thrill of the moment and unafraid to push the limits of social norms. 
Their friendship was characterized by laughter, mischief, and a deep understanding of each other's flaws and eccentricities. Tragically, they both struggled with personal demons that ultimately led to their untimely deaths. Reed passed away in 1999 from a heart attack, while Moon died in 1978 of a drug overdose. Their deaths marked the end of an era. A chaotic and lasting fight Oliver Reed's penchant for bar fights and rowdy behavior often landed him in the midst of chaotic and sometimes violent situations. One infamous incident occurred during a night of heavy drinking at a pub where Reed found himself embroiled in a brawl that left him needing stitches and with long-term scarring. Details of the specific altercation vary, but the general narrative typically involves Reed engaging in a heated confrontation with another patron, perhaps fueled by alcohol and his notoriously fiery temperament. Reed, known for his imposing stature and physical prowess, was not one to back down from a challenge, and the situation quickly escalated into a full-blown altercation. Amidst the chaos of flying fists and shattered glass, Reed sustained injuries to his face that required medical attention. The severity of the wounds necessitated stitches, leaving him with visible scars that served as lasting reminders of his tumultuous lifestyle and penchant for danger. While the specifics of the incident may be shrouded in myth and speculation, the aftermath undoubtedly left a lasting impact on Reed physically and emotionally. The scars he bore served as a tangible reminder of the consequences of impulsive behavior. Russell Crowe didn't like him. Russell Crowe's admission of not getting along with Oliver Reed on the set of Gladiator sheds light on the complex dynamics that can arise between actors, particularly when strong personalities clash. Despite being formidable talents in their own right, Crowe and Reed's onset relationship was reportedly fraught with tension and disagreements. Crowe, known for his candid nature, openly acknowledged the difficulties he experienced while working with Reed citing clashes of personality and differences in approach to their craft. Reed, who was infamous for wild behavior and unpredictable temperament, may have proven challenging for Crow, who is known for his dedication to his roles and his desire for professionalism on set. The tensions may have also been exacerbated by the circumstances surrounding production, including Reed's declining health due to his struggles with alcoholism. He tragically passed away during filming. Oliver Reed's death. On May 2, 1999, while filming Gladiator in Malta, he passed away at age 61. Reports indicate Reed spent the evening of May 1st drinking at a local pub on Malta, as was typical of his penchant for revelry. He retired to his room at the hotel after drinking a ton, and it was there that he suffered a heart attack, reportedly brought on by a combination of heavy drinking and the sweltering heat of the Mediterranean climate. Now it's time to hear from you. Which one of these stories was most surprising to hear about? Let us know in the comments section below.